Like I said, the first thing here in this project is to see if this engine runs. And that's what uh, what's what we're going to do here today, is to see if this thing will start. So what I've done is I've changed the oil, um, I cleaned the spark plugs and regapped them. I put some oil in the cylinders because it's been sitting for decades, so I wanted to make sure it got lubricated good around the pistons and the rings. Um, I replaced the cap, looked a little bit too corroded. I cleaned the contacts on the body, distributor body. Um, I put a new 6 volt battery into it. Uh, what else? Brand new radiator cap. I filled water that was totally empty and it's holding water, so that's a good thing. Um, and then the uh, carburetor, what I did was I got uh, gaskets and just I didn't rebuild the whole carburetor, I just replaced the gaskets because when I turned it on the other day, it just flowed out. So, needed to replace those dried out paper gaskets. Anyway, so I think it's ready to start. So I'm going to get in here. I hope it don't blow up the place and blow me up, but I'm going to get in here right now for the very first time after acquiring this thing and let's see what it starts. So keep the camera growing, going. I'm not going to edit anything here. I want this to be for, for real. All right, let's see what happens here. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> well, it's running. After sitting in a barn for 40 years, it's running. It's not running very well, but it's running. Sounds like, uh, I'm not sure. There's a lot of oil coming out the back, a lot of smoke coming out the back. That kind of tells me this engine is absolutely shot. But, at least it got it started. And, doesn't look like the generator is working. But, let's make some adjustments here and see if we can get it running a little better. Okay, so I adjusted the air fuel mixture from the inside. It's now and idled it down and it's running a whole lot better. There's no smoke coming out the back, as you can see. So all of the oil that I put in the cylinders to kind of prime it has burned out. The exhaust manifold oil is burned off, most of it anyway and seems to be doing pretty good. I gotta get the idle down a little bit more. But more importantly, what you can see here is the marble Chevler carburetor. This was donated by a neighbor because the Tillotson carburetor that was on the car originally was warped. The upper half was warped really, really bad and there was no way to machine it. So that one's in the trash, and this one's in its place. I got a new rebuilding kit, and it went together pretty easily, and here you go. Here's something that's really amazing. We're out here on the driveway when I first started the car. It's running real rough. I can't figure out what's going on. There's a lot of smoke coming out the back of the tailpipe. And, and so finally I shut it off, and I walked back into the garage here, and for about the length of the car, length and a half of the car, all over the driveway floor are all kinds of seeds. And I'm going around and I'm, I'm, there must have been a, two or three hundred of these things that I ended up having to sweep up. But basically, it looks like over the time that it was in the barn for 30 or 40 years, I don't know the exact amount of time, there must have been some kind of mouse or rat or some kind of ground squirrel, not ground squirrel, 
that had made a home in the muffler. So this thing had crawled up inside the muffler and deposited all of these seeds. If you can see these seeds, there was even a, a almond in here. So here are the seeds and here is some mouse poop, petrified mouse poop. Um, I did a Google search on it and confirmed that that's what it was. So isn't that crazy? But so some animal, uh, rodent I should say, lived in this muffler for who knows how many years, had a good life within a muffler, nice and protected, and deposited all these, uh, these seeds, whoop, there we go, deposited all these seeds including almonds inside the muffler and then I blew them all out. Uh, what we don't know is, is there still a dead mouse inside the muffler? I didn't see any heads or tails or feet get blown out of the muffler. So I'm hoping that he survived and took off into the bushes before the car was moved out of the barn. But anyway, I thought that would be uh, some, something kind of cool to, to share with you. Okay, so it is an absolutely gorgeous morning here in Colorado, probably 70 degrees and sunny. Beautiful day to uh, get the Model A filled up with gas and take it for a ride. Uh, this is the first time. I don't even know if the brakes work. Uh, I'm going to put it in gear. I'm not even sure what I'm going to hear when I put it in gear, but I did change the uh, trans gear oil and, and the rear end. So this will be a test, another test, as we progress towards restoring the whole car. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Well, first impressions of driving the Model A after getting it running again, uh, it, it ran pretty well, to be honest with you. For being in a, a barn for 30 or 40 years and not running, um, I got it running and took a, the, the kids, uh, grandkids for a nice ride. Uh, they almost crashed the car a couple times, but that's beside the point. But in terms of uh, the, the, the transmission shifted perfect, um, I heard no grinding in the rear end. The uh, one problem is the rear main seal is shot and it poured out <laughs> oil like crazy, which is uh, typical of these motors. But uh, overall, not too bad. So at this point, it's disassembly. Uh, you know, everything comes off, motor comes out and we'll be taking it in to get rebuilt uh, and modern, quote unquote, modernizing the, the motor with uh, inserted bearings and adjustable lifters and uh, even a 6.5 compression head, which will be cool. So crank will be redone, the whole, it, it'll be upgraded. So it'll be really nice to drive around. Um, other than that, uh, I'm happy with it. I'm excited about uh, what the prospects are and getting this thing in good looking shape in running condition and in two years time we should be able to cruise with uh, confidence so subscribe to the YouTube channel here if you want to get updated videos as I progress through uh, the, uh, the restoration process over the next couple of years I don't know how many videos I'll do but subscribe anyway I'll, I'll have something stupid to talk about or something important to talk about I don't know anyway that's it for now Thanks for watching.